Although I've never made ice cream, so we're gonna make ice cream. So I bought an ice cream maker. We're gonna figure it out. I'm making vanilla and I make my own vanilla. I don't know if you can see the vanilla beans in there, but I make my own vanilla. And this has been stewing for like six months. So what I did is I actually, when you make this, don't get it hot. I put it on the stove and the sugar melted right into the um, heavy whipping cream. And it's just like at room temperature. And that was the only reason for heating it up. This recipe calls for whole milk. And what I'm gonna do to make it even creamier, instead of a cup and a quarter of whole milk, I'm gonna do a cup and a quarter of half and half and raw milk. And then the other quarter. So that'll add the bacteria I need, but also this will add even more creamy consistency. It says a tablespoon of vanilla. But y'all, I am a fan of vanilla. That's why I make my own. So I'm gonna do way more than that. So yeah, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a lot. I'm doing three tablespoons. <laughs> I'm gonna put some add-ins in it, but I'm gonna do it once I pour it in the freezing thing. Homemade vanilla ice cream, y'all. You can see the vanilla bean specks floating in it, maybe. Maybe, maybe. It's 98 degrees out right now. Step one, put your ice cream mix in the container, oh, dirty thingy, inside it. Step three, put the lid on, maybe. Yep. That turns the stir thingy inside like that. And there's like a divot in the bottom of this that meets a thing in the bottom of this so that you get it centered properly. That more than covers it. And then you add salt to keep the ice from melting. And now we put the machine on it. Huh. Cool. Supposedly uh, 20 minutes, we'll see. Okay, I'm experimenting with a sugar-free version and I'm splitting it up with these three things. Now, obviously this isn't gonna be sugar-free because honey's got sugar in it, but I'm doing a third of the sweetener as honey, a third this monk fruit syrup that's maple bourbon and a third xylitol. And also, oh my gosh, I tasted it the layers of creamy goodness. It's amazing. It tastes like maple vanilla. I don't know how to describe it to you. It's really good, but I haven't um, frozen it yet in the ice cream maker, so I'll show it to you when I'm done. Yeah, I'm moving inside. That, that heat is ridiculous. This is what it's like right now. So it's like the consistency of yogurt. And that's at 30 minutes. Okay, I want it a little bit longer. So to make things go faster, the second round that I made that's sugar-free, I put it in the refrigerator because if you can get it back up to temperature, I think it would make ice cream way faster. All right, we're gonna move back over here. Note to self. Make ice cream in the house, not outside on a 98 degree day. <laughs> yeah, we're closing in on 40 minutes. By the way, what's right here is, remember in the video, I made my third anniversary video as a gift to you guys. If you haven't seen it, please go watch it. It's right before this one. And in it, you see me painting a birdhouse with Amanita mushrooms. It's right here. I'm gonna unveil it on our live on Saturday. All right, we're at 50, five zero. I think we're done. I think that's as good as it gets. I'm gonna get this out and get the next round going. All right, this is how much that recipe makes, if you wanna know. This is the sugar-free one. If you're, if you're, if you're, if you're leaving, this is all for Saturday, so come play with us. I'm gonna make brownies. We're gonna celebrate the solstice and my third anniversary. Come see us.
I'm gonna make it worth it. I'm gonna make the calories worth it and the time. 